Mechanic and Acousta Sonic series since its release in 2019 has very much pushed the boundaries of innovation when it comes to acoustic and indeed electric guitars. There are very few guitars out there like them that combine acoustic and electric guitar sounds and certainly none that are as lightweight and with as much advanced technology on board. However, until now, they've always been exclusively American built with extremely high quality craftsmanship, impeccable materials, the best electronics on board that all justify this premium price tag. A price tag that might have dissuaded people who aren't entirely convinced of the American Acoustasonic capabilities or perhaps someone who just doesn't have the budget to splash out on a Fender American guitar. They want the Acoustasonic but if only there was a bit more of an affordable version. Maybe one made in Mexico, perhaps with a slightly simplified electronics on board with cheaper parts and labor, with a bit more of a restriction when it comes to voices. <laughs> This is the all new Fender Acoustasonic Player Telecaster. It's made in Mexico, it's under a thousand pounds, or at least it is with us anyway, and it is a slightly simpler, but still the same trailblazing hybrid guitar that harnesses innovative acoustic modeling technology that you can see on its American predecessors. It's gonna open up the Acousta Sonic family to an entire new demographic of musician, and I'm really excited to see that. I've already spoken so much in previous videos about the incredible capabilities, the portability, the quality of sound and the feel of the American Acoustasonics and let me tell you none of that is lost with these slightly simpler stripped back affordable versions. They feel great. In fact, they feel shockingly similar to American built Acoustasonics when they're in your hands. So with all of that being said, then let's run down exactly what has changed. Firstly, you've got some great new colors that are really classy. Personally, I think the Butterscotch Blonde and Arctic White are gonna be really popular. As for under the hood, as I mentioned before, you're now getting six voices instead of 10 that you get on the American Acoustasonics that are accessible via a three-way selector instead of a five-way selector and you can blend between two voices on each pickup selection via the blend knob as you always have been able to do on the Acoustasonics. Two of the three pickups that you can find on the American Acoustasonics remain on the player Acoustasonics, that being the piezo pickup under the bridge, which is doing the majority of the legwork for the acoustic sounds, as well as the noiseless magnetic pickup that's gonna be doing the majority of the legwork for the electric sounds. They've stripped off the body sensing pickup that allows for the resonance of the top, but I think in terms of what you lose by taking that off, it's not a huge amount. Unless of course you were particularly set on banging on the top of your acoustic guitar to make it make a noise, I don't think you're gonna miss it. Just buy a drum. So what sort of voices remain? Well, there's essentially two of each type now. There's a small bodied acoustic and then a dreadnought. They've also brought over the lo-fi piezo clean and crunch from the Acoustasonic Jazzmaster. And they've also brought back the Fender Electric clean and Fender Electric fat voices that you could find on the American Acoustasonic players. Now, I'm gonna pose the same question that I always pose when talking about Acoustasonics, and that's why would you buy one? Well, to start with, I think the Acoustasonic range perfectly encapsulates the modern musician, someone who does a bit of everything from playing guitar, singing, writing songs, recording, producing, jumping on trains and buses to college and different lessons. Quite often, the modern musician is a multi-instrumentalist and they demand an instrument that's just as flexible as them. Let's see how they sound then. Thankfully today with me, I've got Nathan and Tom, two incredible yet different guitarists who can hopefully showcase the amazing versatility of these instruments.
If you're going to be playing a gig with a set list that contains songs on acoustic and electric guitars, it can be quite annoying having to lug down a big bulky acoustic guitar as well as your electric, as well as everything else that you need to bring with you. You want something that does both really well, and not only that, but something that gives you great options for the different sounds on board, as well as being really lightweight and portable. Acoustasonics do just that, but of course I understand that not everybody can afford the hefty price tag that American-built Fenders demand. This is where the Acoustasonic player range comes in. They're more affordable for people like you and me, they're super versatile still, they're really sleek and stylish, and over the years they are looking more and more at home in the hands of musicians all over the world. So there you have it, the incredible versatility and innovation of the Acoustasonic range, but a much more affordable price where you don't have to sacrifice too much on the sound options or the build quality. What do you guys think though? Has this tipped you over the edge to give an Acoustasonic a go? Are you already a fan of the Acoustasonic range like I am? Let us know down in the comments, it'd be good to hear your thoughts on this. But thank you all for watching, my thanks also to Tom and Nathan for their incredible guitar skills to show off these amazing instruments. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more things like this, and we will see you very soon.